Daily Track, Monday, October 19, 2020. Monday of 29th week in Ordinary Time. Daily Track, Monday, October 19, 2020. Monday of 29th week in Ordinary Time. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Someone in the crowd spoke to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to share with me the family inheritance. He replied, My friend, who has appointed me as your church or your attorney? Then Jesus said to the people, Be on your guard and avoid every kind of greed. For even though you have many possessions, it is not that which gives you life. And Jesus continued, There was a rich man, and his land had produced a good harvest. He thought, What shall I do? For I am not short of room to store my harvest. All right, I know what I shall do. I will pull down my barns and I will build bigger ones to store all this grain, which is my wealth. Then I will say to myself, My friend, you have a lot of good things put by your many years. Rest, eat, drink, and enjoy yourself. But God said to him, You fool! This very night your life will be taken from you. Tell me, who shall get all you have put aside? This is the lot of the one who stores up riches for himself and is not worthy in the eyes of God. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to strive to possess those items which truly give you life. As I look at the world and tune into the media with which I am bombarded, I realize the values which the world sees as important are wealth, fame, material possessions. Some people seem to not be able to live without their smartphones or their credit cards. For what do you work and live? Will the items for which you strive be with you at all times? St. Paul reminds us in his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 13, that in the end, the only things which last are faith, hope, and love. Are you seeking to enrich yourself with these values? We are reminded today that we do not earn our salvation. If we seek to earn possessions, those items we think we have a must can be taken away and we have nothing. First, we hear as St. Paul writes to the people of Ephesus and reminds them that they are in relationship with Lord Jesus because of faith, and that is a gift from God. The psalmist proclaims that we belong to God and everything we have is not our doing, but God's doing. In the Gospel, Jesus tells his disciples to be careful not to become greedy over material possessions. St. Paul writes to the Ephesians in a way which is quite powerful. He informs them that God had mercy on them even 
while they were dead because of their sinfulness. Through Jesus, God, the Abba Father, has bestowed mercy and love upon them. Not only can they not earn God's love and the gift of salvation, but the faith that saves them is not because of their faith in God, but God's gift of faith has been given to them. Thus they are saved by faith, God's action of giving faith, not their own action of receiving faith. The psalmist reiterates that God is the one who initiates. God creates humans, provides for them, and saves them. It is God's action which is important. We need to respond by singing God's praise. In the gospel, when someone appears to Jesus to help settle a shipping dispute over inheritance, Jesus warns against being greedy. In a parable which reinforces the adage, you can't take it with you. Jesus cautions his disciples against trying to build up their collection of worthy items, since God can call them home by means of their earthly death, and all the accumulated possessions will be left behind. As I reflect on today's teach readings, I am reminded of a pastor who frequently presented to his congregation the message to travel light. Travel light. In his consistent preaching, he compared life to a journey. We are heading back to the house of our God. If we are carrying too much baggage, then we will not be able to take the road least traveled. The road to the home of our Abba Father who happens to be God. This is a hard message for some of us because we are constantly being bombarded with the messages of a world that is obsessed with amassing more and more. Wherever we turn, whether it be the television, the radio, newspapers, social media, advertisement on websites, there is a constant word, you need this, or life is not life without that. We see that traveling with less is a profession of a deeper faith in the providence of God. The Lord Jesus keeps reassuring us that God will take care of us. God always takes the initiative on our behalf. God creates us, provides for us, and saves us in Jesus. Today, I was struck by the rest of Paul's sentence where he wrote, And this faith is not from you, it is the gift of God. The faith that is the door to our salvation begins with God. That is the faith that counts. Our response to the gift of faith flows from God's raising us with faith. And all faith response is both in attitude, our choosing to believe, and in action, our acting in a way which shows our acceptance of God's gift of faith. It is brought home to me today again how much God loves us. God always takes the initiative. God is the one who acts first, 
with gifts which are the only truly worthwhile possessions in life. God gives us more than we need and without money. And what God gives us will last forever. God's most important gifts will not end when we pass from this life. For those gifts are not the physically tangible possession we are urged to buy. They are the divine gifts of faith, hope, and love. Thus, it is that we can exclaim with the psalmist today, Give thanks to God, bless God's name, for God is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and God's faithfulness to all generations. The personal question or action for today To what do I cling? Is it worthy, fame, possessions? Do I have items? Am I spending all sorts of time and money in trying to amass things? Do I value the great and free gifts which come from God, faith, hope, and love? How do I respond to these gifts? Can people see by my actions that these are the treasures for which I live? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, ever gracious and loving. Through your goodness, you are the source of all good things in our life. Yet, so often, we are focused not on your gifts, but on the glittery goods of this world, which are presented to us as necessities. We become so attached to the things which cost us dearly that we miss the value of your free gifts. Your Son Jesus came to remind us to not be so attached to and greatly about worthy things that we miss the truly priceless elements of life. Not only has Jesus warned us through his words, but he lived a life which showed his attachment to only eternal treasures. Through the working of your Holy Spirit in our lives, Help us to value the gifts which you give us, the gifts that will last faith, hope, and love. We make this pray in the name of your Son, Jesus, for he is our Master, Teacher, and Lord, our Brother and Savior, who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit in the place to where he is leading us and where you want us to be forever and ever. Amen.
lòng xót thương không cậy vào sức mà phú nhận quyền năng của thiên chúa thanh hoa tâm hồn hôm nay cầu xin thiên chúa chữa lành biết sông giàu lòng xót thương dòng tay giúp đỡ những ai bình dịch chưa lành những ai đang nhiễm bệnh dịch cho lòng chi Thank you. 